set. <coughs> Good afternoon. It's Monday, January 9th, 2023, 4.30 p.m. I'd like to call this meeting to order. May I have a roll call, please? Kennedy Cornfield. Here. Kyle Patterson. Nope. And Danielle. Present. I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second, any discussion? All those in favor, sign up aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. Approval of the meeting minutes from December 12th, 2022. So moved. Second, discussion? All those in favor, sign up aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. Public participation? Seeing none, any correspondence? Okay. Old business, we have none. New business, financial reports, Ron? Uh, the Joseph report as of the end of November showing cash on hand at just under $8.3 million. The total fund balance a little over $7.5 million, representing 44% of the budget expenditures for the year, which is in the guidelines, within the guidelines of the 25 to 50% of the annual expenditures. We ended the fifth fiscal month with a surplus of $133,000, and that's first of the budgeted year to date of negative four fifty five. dollars budget is just over 17 million. Income, uh, the revenue was just shy of 6.3 million dollars, which is 772,000 shy of the year-to-date uh, annual budget. Property taxes were over slightly. Uh, grants and contracts, fees and services were both under the year-to-date budget. Expenditures were 6.1 million, which is about 1.4 million under their year-to-date budget due mainly to personnel benefits, contracted services, and patient care. Good question. Um, it says that we ended with a surplus versus a budget uh, year to date loss. Did we basically plan yeah. to lose about a half a million by now, but we are actually at a surplus of 133? Yeah, right? I, I didn't read the whole sentence there, but the, our annual operating budget is a negative $1.2 million. Yeah. So then the year to date would be a negative. Yeah, I see. So essentially, we were projecting a loss. And do you recall yeah. why we were projecting a loss this year in the budget? We were, but right now, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. But what, what, why were we projecting budget uh, loss? No, the, the loss was due to several capital improvement projects. Uh, okay, this is your okay. yeah. I was trying to remember this piece, and it's such so large that I just couldn't remember. But the weird thing of it is, is that we just paid out the 600000 for the solar panels, mm -hmm. and we still have a surplus. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of questioning what's going to happen there. So the personnel, um, under budget on personnel is because we have a number of vacancies? We always have a, I don't know, I don't, I don't budget for vacancies, so yeah. it's always up there. It's always it's under budget. But isn't what happened though because of uh, some of that's because of COVID, because of like different like me being in different line items and different directors being that's not that doesn't affect that. There can be some in there, but it's how many vacancies do we have? Six. Six. Okay, okay. so it's not, not no, okay. no, we just um, laid off all of our uh, contact tracers for the COVID grant that ended December thirty first. Yeah. So, yeah, we have about six, six, seven. No, yeah, that doesn't include. position, we just created the DEI specialist. So. The layoffs don't include, they're not included in those six, though, right? No, right. no. This is six open positions, including the current, the equity officer. Yeah. Has the equity officer position been posted? Yes, as of today. No, it's on the website. Yes. Okay. Oh, I rest my case. Very well. <laughs> uh, any other questions for Ron? Um, review of credit card statement. I'm sorry, Mandy, do you have anything else? No. Review of credit card statement from December 2022. Any questions? Okay. Uh, approval of payment to Board of Health appointees. We'll combine these. Ron Fields, treasurer for services rendered in December 2022 for $445.20. Check request number 5382. And Ruth Wyman, attorney for legal services rendered from December 12th, 2022 through December 13th, 2022. For 200 hours, check request 5326. So moved. Second, discussion? All those in favor, sign by. Aye. Aye. Opposed, that carries. 
Uh, check request number 5264 for $29,448 to Kronos, Inc. of Atlanta, Georgia for workforce ready software. Second, discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, sign by. Aye. Opposed? That carries. Check request 5294 for $315 to Meyer Table Law Firm in Champaign for legal services in November of 2022. Second, discussion? All those in favor, sign of aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. Check request 5295 for $2,175 to Meyer Cable Law Firm in Champaign for Illinois Department of Labor case in November of 2022. So moved. Um, second, discussion. All those in favor, sign of aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. Check request 5341 for $19,455 to Pearsoft in Miami, Florida for annual workplace SAA's expense from February 1st, 2023 through January 31, 2024. Second, discussion? All those in favor, sign of aye. Aye. Aye, opposed, that carries. I'm just gonna go ahead and adjourn when he walks in the door. All right, we're adjourned. <laughs> okay, we're not quite there. Two, two more minutes. All okay. minutes. <laughs> Route you took to get here. Can you note know that Kyle is in the tennis? That train will go directly. We need an Ratification of requisition request 5346 for $6,971.36 to McKesson Medical Surgical Inc. of Atlanta, Georgia for COVID vaccination supplies in December of 2022. So moved. Second. No. Any discussion? All those in favor, sign of aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Update on the status of hiring the DEI coordinator. Well, we posted it today. Um, it's on our website. It's going on a lot of social media sites. Um, hope to hire someone fairly quickly. We're also hoping to get uh, Karen Sims um, to help us with the interview process. And I'm going to try to re uh, reach out to Rachel Joy at the city. Yeah, she's at the city. Yeah, and see if she would help us with that. I don't know if they have the availability, but it would be nice to have someone with experience in that area looking, helping us with that. But we will be interviewing um, soon as we get some applicants. Okay. So, that's about if you're looking for another person, I'm very Cecilia Clark, who used to be the personnel director at the city of Urbana. Also, she was a HRO at Urbana, and she's currently consulting with them. Did with you say Carla. Cecilia? Cecilia Clark. Yeah, I can give you her contact information. But, um, Are you I'm saying Vasilia with a B? Vasilia. Vasilia. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't mind your name. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Pam. Pam. I think I can help you with this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, find me after I can give you her contact information. Okay. Any other discussion? Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're still, I was thinking. Any other questions for, for Pat? Keep us posted, please. Welcome. Um, pending grant contracts? No. None. Wonderful. Um, We don't have to ratify. Oh, it's the update on the status. Okay, sorry, I was looking at the oh the yeah the job description. I think we had already passed. It. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, so our next meeting will be Thursday, January 6, twenty twenty three, at ten thirty a.m. Uh, if needed, followed by a monthly board meeting Monday, February thirteenth, twenty twenty three, at four thirty p.m. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So any discussion? All those in favor, sign of aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. If you can hurry, Kylie, you can catch the train backing <laughs> up. Backing up, train. sometimes it does that. Yeah. Okay. It just backs up for no reason. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sorry, Kyle. Oh, yeah, I'll just I'll go at the end of the week. Huh.